praise the lord to all the viewers in the name of jesus as i am doing a series of videos on jesus death and resurrection i have already completed one which is jesus death and resurrection proven in quran and this video speaks about a historical record associated to jesus death and resurrection when the earthquake came at jesus crucifixion the same earthquake details are stored in uh, a us federal government web portal and i'm going to walk you through this so you first go to google and say noaa basically which means national oceanic and atmospheric administration this is a us government web portal so once you open this you tend to see the hazard earthquake search so basically once you click this it's nothing but uh, a database which tends to show you all the earthquake information which tend to happen across the globe so once you click this you tend to see the window like this you could see here national centers for environmental information so here this is the template so in this you can give 0 to 100 means the year you are giving between your search criteria is between 0 to 100 within this period you wanted to just check the Jesus death and crucifixion so here you can just uh, search criteria could be in the country Israel because Jesus crucifixion happened in Israel and once you say uh, search you tend to get this page here you can see in the 33 AD uh, earthquake happened at Israel and Palestine at a latitude of 31,800 and 35,200 you could see very clearly if it is a historical record only to the extent of explicit calling out of latitude and longitude also was possible if this was a fake u.s federal government will not put in their web portal first point and the second point is this information is so accurate even the latitude and longitude information also is captured next the more information which is there here so the more information tend to elaborate the summary of all the things what happened on the day of the earthquake which happened at jesus crucifixion so once i click the more information this is the page what i tend to get okay so i clicked here more information and i got this web page so here you could see 33 year location latitude longitude and you can see the summary here let me walk you through the summary this event the earthquake event is listed in numerous earthquakes catalogs publications including references that there are more than 40 records of historical records associated to jesus crucifixion is available tiberius who was the king at the time of jesus has also recorded some information while he was ruling as a king so that's also tend to happen a historical record what this summary is telling is in 33 AD near jerusalem the earthquake in jerusalem caused darkness over the land tombs were open and the ground is flat in the history of any earthquake can you notice that the tombs were open and the darkness was there all around the land because this is the death crucifixion of the son of god the creator of this entire universe the entire universe became dark you also see that there are two types of earthquakes here at the time one was at the time of jesus crucifixion and the other was at jesus resurrection researchers have concluded this as ad 33 as you could clearly see from this later many writers also opined that this earthquake associated to jesus death was a cosmic one which means it's not a normal solar eclipse or anything but it's a cosmic one which will impact the entire globe which will impact the entire universe that is the reason you tend to see here that the darkness was over the entire land the bible tells that at around 3 p.m 
the darkness was there across the entire land. That is what you tend to see this in Bible also. And you are seeing the same record uh, available even in the web portal of the US federal government. You also see other records as well associated to the same. The, another one. The earthquake in Nicaea is also mentioned by Saint Jerome, who doesn't specify it as a solar eclipse, but he mentions of the earthquake associated to Jesus' crucifixion. You can clearly see this. This is also one of the record. Okay. Eusebius, Eusebius also feels that this is associated to Jesus. Christ crucifixion another record and this tend to happen in 33 AD you could see here two people two writers are speaking about earthquake came at the time of Jesus crucifixion that's what they're just trying to tell they're not telling that it is a solar eclipse but it was definitely an earthquake later the account of Horatius in the early 5th century also records who also does not mention Jerusalem is very sim similar to Eusebius adding only that Emperor Tiberius exempted the damaged cities in Bethania in Asia Minor from tribute and gave generous donation towards repairs. In the early 5th century Orosius is telling that there was a earthquake severe earthquake which destroyed a lot of cities and the emperor Tiberius has given a lot of donations to repair these cities and he is dating this to Jesus crucifixion so you see clearly several records you also see additional records associated to that in the 33 AD itself all these records as well in Bithynia, Palestine, Jerusalem Judea, Jerusalem, Asia Minor, Bithynia, even to the extent of the damage to the temple. We speak about when Jesus' death and resurrection happened, the curtain which was there within the uh, holy place and the holy of holy place within the tabernacle also was torn from top to bottom. That we tend to see from the biblical record as well. And you tend to see it is even recorded in the US web portal. With this, what I wanted to just conclude you is Jesus' death and resurrection is proven historically as well. As you could see that the earthquake related information, the summary of the information, what has happened uh, at the death of Jesus' death and resurrection, when the earthquake came, what all happened is recorded in the US federal government web portal. With this, I praise God and my Lord Savior Jesus Christ for his miraculous omnipotence that he could raise himself up, giving us the hope that we also will raise again at Jesus' second coming.